Overheating in an automobile typically signifies a malfunctioning cooling system. In this short video, we talk about the most common causes of engine overheating when air conditioner is on. Overloaded cooling system. On an extremely hot day, your cooling system might not be able to release heat fast enough when you're driving up a steep hill. This is particularly valid when towing or transporting a large object. The heat is transferred from one place to another by air conditioning. The AC system's condenser must be used to release this heat. It's possible that your car has just enough cooling capacity to cool the engine on its own, but not with the air conditioning on. Your car's cooling capacity may occasionally be increased by upgrading your condenser or radiator. This is a typical modification for vehicles that tow and sports cars that are frequently used on racetracks. Low coolant. One of the first things you should do if your car is overheating is to make sure your coolant level is full. Air pockets will enter the cooling system due to low coolant. It will run hotter in your engine because air does not cool as effectively as a liquid does. Don't remove the radiator cap until the engine is fully cool. Bleed the air out of the cooling system if you need to add coolant to ensure there are no residual air pockets. Restriction in airflow. Your condenser and radiator might not be able to get enough airflow to cool the engine if there is a lot of bent fins or debris obstructing the radiator. Since the condenser and radiator are usually stacked closely next to one another, an issue with airflow is likely to impact both devices. The cooling capacity will not be significantly affected by a few bent fins. However, under heavier loads, this could become problematic if your radiator receives some damage from small objects on the road. Fins can sometimes be bent back into shape to improve airflow, though it's a laborious process. If you try to do this yourself, proceed with caution as you don't want to puncture the radiator. Bad radiator fan. When you're idling or traveling slowly, there won't be enough airflow across the radiator and condenser if your radiator fans die. If the problem is limited to overheating when you are not moving, it may be a malfunctioning radiator fan. Why do cars get hot? Little explosions provide the power for an internal combustion engine. After injecting fuel and air into the combustion chamber, the chamber is sealed. This causes the air-fuel mixture to be compressed as the piston rises. The spark plug ignites the fuel precisely at that point in the piston's travel. The crankshaft rotates as a result of this ignition forcing the piston back down. There is a specific operating temperature range that engines are meant to operate in. The engine will not run smoothly if it is overly cold. Overheating the engine can cause components to melt, warp heads, crack blocks, and leak head gaskets. An engine's coolant circulates through it to keep it from overheating. The thermostat opens to let coolant from the radiator enter the engine block when the engine starts to get a little too warm. The thermostat closes and the procedure is repeated after the engine reaches the desired temperature. When your car overheats when air conditioner is on, that means your car has a problem and you should solve it as quick as possible.